Well, after touchdown, before the safety officers reached that Dragon capsule, an unexpected welcome for the astronauts came from a group of dolphins earlier this morning. Pallav sir has been tracking all the latest developments, keeping a fine eye on all that's been happening. He's with us in the studio at the moment for a quick update. Pallav sir, describe what that moment was like for you earlier this morning for us. Oh, it's a fascinating moment to see the SpaceX Crew Dragon land in the Gulf of uh, America. Uh, that's what it's called now, and that's what uh, we will call it. Uh, and to see that the SpaceX Crew Dragon had a safe, correct splashdown and a recovery, and the four astronauts came out healthy, was a beautiful moment. There was a lot of anxiety in the world and in the population at large as to the health of astronaut Sunita Williams and astronaut Butch Wilmore. Both came out healthy. Uh, Sunita waved, smiled, Butch Wilmore even stood up after he came out of the space capsule. So a wonderful feeling that a long, unpredictable mission has come to an end, and astronaut Sunita Williams will get on to the work of getting the Boeing Starliner back in space. That is what NASA has announced in their post-splashdown uh, press conference. She will be back. Uh, she'll be united with her family for after two days or so, and then she will go on some time off. But ultimately, she is a professional astronaut. She displayed that professionalism all through her long 286-day stay, and she came out happy. Others were very unhappy about many things, and there were lots of politics around this space mission. Yes. Uh, Republicans and Democrats clashed. President Biden and uh, President Donald Trump had their uh, uh, swords sworn at each other. Hmm. But NASA and the astronauts went about their job like normal professionals, Absolutely. and they did a great job. As always, Palav sir, thank you so much for joining us with the latest updates. We also have with us, live from New Mexico at the moment, space communicator Alice. Alice, as always, thanks so much for making time for us. Alice, for our viewers here in India, tell us what key lessons do you think NASA will take away from Sunita Williams' mission, especially in terms of mission planning, astronaut health, also spacecraft reliability, and how might these lessons influence future space missions? A really great question. You know, every single mission that goes to space goes through a whole series of planned events and unplanned events. And really, when it comes to approaching any kind of mission, you have to make sure you plan for every eventuality. Right. Obviously, the Boeing Starliner mission didn't quite go the way that was expected. It did return here to New Mexico um, in the summer, and it was an actual perfect flight. So it's hopeful that when Sunita and Butch come back, they're able to pass on the information from what they've learned from being on the Starliner craft and see if we can develop it further and get that mission back into plan uh, to hopefully get another flight back up to the ISS. As you mentioned earlier, uh, NASA is very keen to not only have SpaceX as just the one operator to take mm. uh, astronauts from the US to the space station. They want to make sure there are options. And so yes. it's really key for them to really make sure that we are getting a second flight from Starliner uh, in the future. And in terms of when it comes to health, there are a lot of things that we can learn every time an astronaut goes to space, whether it's for a short period of time or a prolonged period of time, Obviously, Sunny and Butch managed to stay much longer than they were expected. There's a lot of lessons that can be learned from this. We're expecting in the next few hours to find out a little bit about their medical conditions. All right. Hopefully, they're in very good states and they're able to go to Houston very soon. And Alice, given the political as well as the financial implications of the Trump administration's decisions regarding NASA and the space program, what do you think the future holds for NASA's missions and funding? That's also a very good question. And a lot of it is that we don't know right now. Um, we're in a lot of a hold sort of situation. NASA is going through a bit of a reduction, a, a reduce in workforce. Uh, we're not sure what the outcome of that will be. Certainly when Jared Isaacman becomes the NASA administrator as expected, he's the nominee currently under the new administration, I think we'll start to get more information about where the future for NASA will be. Uh, obviously, we're very much looking to commercial companies over the uh, US Space Agency to provide a lot of logistics. Uh, to provide a lot more when it comes to support for things like exploration to, exploration to the moon uh, and beyond to Mars as well. So I do think we're going to see a very different uh, space uh, industry in the coming years. It's already changed significantly in the last decade. I think it's going to go even further in the next 10 years. Yes, thanks so much. We will, of course, revert to you for regular updates.